Welcome to morning market meeting, 11th July 2019. I'm Sagandanti, chief analyst and trader at Superior Profit, based in Singapore. The company is based in Singapore. I live in Thailand. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for an investment decision made by its audience. In this session, we'll demonstrate how you can use the queue systems for top down, bottom up, or inside based identification of trade opportunities. This is different from the weekly market roundup video that I submit every week, which is more focused on only top down analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. And I am having issue with Metastock. Let me close it and open it again. First, we'll look at the global markets. While Metastock is loading, you may see from the home page that today at noon Eastern Standard Time, I have a separate webinar on how to use Q Elite, the technical trading system on TradeStation. There, I will analyze more stocks during market hours. So we may have a shorter session in this webinar. Having said that, let's start with the global markets, AXJO. That's the Australian market index. We are going to look at it with the standard weekly, daily, at a glance template. We call this at a glance because in Q technique, using this single template, we can decide if there is a low risk trading opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, AXJO is going up. This week's candle shape is bullish. The color is neutral. In the daily, it is going up in an uptrend. It is too close to the upper boundary line. Therefore, we are not going to take any long trade now. It is in an uptrend. There is no Q short trade setup. Therefore, if you had a long position in AXJO, probably initiated at this point as a Q go with flow trend following long setup, then you may continue to hold the long position. We will not like to initiate any position right now. Australian market is bullish. What about the China market? There was a meeting between the presidents of the America, the USA and China during the G20 meeting in Japan. Mr. Trump decided not to initiate new tariffs on Chinese imports immediately. The market was not, not sure what will happen in the meeting, but it seems that the market liked what they saw. And then there was a Fed, Fed chair commentary yesterday that also seems to be positive. And I am having difficulty opening the index for China. Let me try again. Let's see how all that is affecting the China market. In China, there is a 300 index, there is a 500 index. Let me try the 500 index. Okay. We can see from the China CSI index, and in this case, CSI 500 index, the weekly backdrop candle color and shape is bearish. Both are bearish. However, there is a memory trend line support very near the price. It is not a safe place to start a short trade. In the daily, we can see it is inside a triangle pattern bound by resistance memory at the top, support memory at the bottom. 
unless it can break out of the triangle pattern we are not sure of the trend one way to trade this kind of pattern is to look for a buy setup at the lower end of the triangle or look for a short setup at the upper end of the triangle right now there is no such reversal trade setup if tomorrow it starts to go up and even better if it tries to go below the memory resistance and then reverse then using the intraday chart you may take a very low risk long position in csi 500 and if the market is reversing from this support instead of buying the index you may drill down and look for strong stocks and buy those instead strong stocks you can identify based on their fundamental technical as well as industry strength that will give you higher probability trades than just trading the index china market is not bullish we can see since the g20 meeting it is not going up it is sideways in the daily chart what about hong kong market Hong Kong market is more bullish than China market. The weekly candle color and shape both are bullish. In the daily, it is going up. Still, it has higher high and higher low. Therefore, it is in an uptrend. It is inside a wide triangle pattern, but it is more bullish than the China market. There is no Q trade setup in HSI right now. Australia was bullish, China not so bullish inside triangle, Hong Kong market more bullish than China, but no trade setup. Let's look at the India market. Nifty 50 index. Here in the weekly, there was a reversal signal, possible reversal signal. I mentioned it at that time when it appeared and it has captured the very top so far. Price came down. It is very close to the memory trend line support. We are not going to short it now. The shorting opportunities could be identified starting from the time the bearish headwind appeared in the weekly chart. And in fact, there was a bearish headwind signal in the daily also. When this candle appeared, that was previous Thursday, Thursday or Friday. I had a webinar at that time and I identified this day as a go with flow short trade setup. The entry would be just at the closing price. Stop would be just above the recent high, which was also the day's high. And there was a memory support line. So we would book profit at the support line. It indeed hit that support line on this candle and we would exit the trade at that point. Because there was a memory support line, we would not be greedy and think that it will continue to go down. Now it found support. It displayed a bull release signal. That doesn't mean we have any long trade setup. We don't. The weekly is continuing to be in magenta color. If it recovers somewhat in the daily chart and then tilts down, gives us another magenta color candle here. That's the flow candle color. Then it will give the next shorting opportunity. Right now there is no trading opportunity. We already exited the short initiated on this day with profit on this day. Let's look at the UK market dot FTAC FTSE index for a few days my meta stock real time is taking more time to load the symbols not sure why and sometimes I'm seeing that if it is taking too long, I can reopen the symbol and that may also give error. 
Okay, let's not go through the FTSE market today. Let's look at the USA market. For will I for that I'll use Trade Station. Let's look at the Dow futures. In one of the previous webinars, in the pre-market session, I noticed the bearish headwind signal in the daily chart. And I mentioned at that time to keep a close eye to see if it results in a reversal. I discussed that in the pre-market session. And the day ended with a long tail candle. Therefore, there was not so much importance of the bearish headwind. The headwind was still there, but the candle had a long lower tail. Now price is very close to the high of the bearish headwind candle day. We have to see if it reverses from here, then it may give a low risk shorting opportunity. If not in Dow, futures may be in individual stocks that are inside Dow. Even better will be if it crosses the high, this watermark high level, and then reverses, creating a false breakout. The breakout will most likely cause another new all time high. And if it reverses, it will give a very low risk shorting opportunity for swing trading. Doesn't mean the trend will change to down trend, but it may still give a low risk shorting opportunity for swing trading. Now, will you short Dow if that happens, or will you short the weakest of the futures? In my View, it is better to short the weakest of the futures and that is not Dow. That is Russell 2000, but let's look at the NASDAQ futures first. It also displayed the reversal signal. Again, by the end of the day, the candle had a lower tail. Therefore, it was not bearish shape candle. It is also having support from the memory support line. It made a new all time high. We can see that from the weekly chart. If it reverses, comes back below this watermark resistance level, then it may also give a low risk shorting opportunity. If not in NASDAQ, in some of the tech stocks. We can see there was a bearish headwind earlier at the same price level from where price could drop a lot. Some more selling may still be left here. However, we will not jump into that kind of trade right now. We will wait to see if there is indeed a false upside breakout before considering any short trade. And that too may not be in NASDAQ itself, but in one of the weaker tech stocks. NASDAQ is strong also. What about S&P 500? Also strong. Incidentally, this also displayed the possible reversal signal. There was another bearish reversal here. However, even if price reverses from the current level, we have to wait until the memory support is broken and it will need to go a distance before it creates a false breakout of this level. The shorting opportunity in S&P 500 will not come immediately, even if it reverses now. What about Russell 2000 futures? This is the one, this had been the weakest of the four market futures for a while. It is inside a triangle pattern, as I mentioned in the last webinar also. Unless it can go out of the triangle pattern, the direction is not clear. One technique again of trading inside a triangle is to look for a reversal from the resistance at the top or support from the bottom and use the intraday charts to initiate a trade. If the support and resistances come too close to each other, then that kind of trade is not advisable. It is becoming narrower and narrower. So in this case, you may avoid taking the trade based on this support line. Instead, if price comes to the next support line, which will mean that it is near the weekly support also. Then you may use the intraday chart to initiate a long position. That will be a very low risk long entry. 
either in Russell 2000 or IWM or even better in some of the small cap stocks. Let's look at gold. In the last market roundup, I mentioned that gold is bullish. There is no doubt about that because the weekly candle color is remaining cyan for many weeks now, starting from this week when it had the first cyan color candle following this downtrend. From there, it is going up. It has moved sideways for three weeks, but the weekly candle color has remained bullish. However, as I mentioned in the last market roundup, in the daily chart, there are too many gap up and gap down moves, which will be clearer if we look at GLD, the ETF. Let's look at GLD, the ETF. We can now see the gap down, gap down, gap up moves very clearly. It is moving erratically. It is bullish in the weekly chart, so we are not going to short it, but it is not easy to trade an instrument that has a tendency to gap up and gap down so much. It may be better to stay away from entering new trade in GLD right now. If you had a long position that you took earlier, then you may continue to hold it, apply trailing stop. No need to exit any long position that you might have taken. Oil, let's look at the futures. Future market is open now. I mentioned in the last webinar that unless oil can break out of this triangle pattern, the direction is not clear. And I also mentioned even if it breaks out, there are other support and resistance lines. It broke out of the first memory resistance level yesterday, but there is another memory resistance nearby. This is not a safe area to take a swing long trade using daily charts. You may stay away from initiating any new long or any sh new short position for swing trading purpose. That is a review of the market. I will not go through more USA stocks today. I will discuss them in the Q Elite webinar that is at noon. 12 o'clock noon Eastern Standard Time today. Let us end this session for today. I thank you for joining. I look forward to seeing you in our next webinar and hopefully also the noon webinar today. Have a great week and trade profitably.